Here we have also a similar name, CETP in Hungary, another European program, which is the Central European Teaching Program. So this is also a quite established long running program that also places applicants into schools in Hungary to work as English language teachers. Um, contracts are between 10 months and a year in duration. So usually it starts in, in September until mid-June the next year. But you can also apply for six-month contracts there, which is great because a lot of positions are for a year or sometimes even two years, depending on where you want to teach. So if you're looking for something just short-term, this program might be really good because you can you have the six month option. So you can go January to June. So if that's something you're interested in, check out cetp.info for the Central European Teaching Program in Hungary. For this program, if you get accepted, there is a five to seven day orientation in Budapest prior to the beginning of the school year. You also typically have 22 to 26 class meetings per week. Um, so class teachings, I presume that's what that means. Teachers are paid a salary in local currency according to the same pay scale as native teachers. Um, so you make the same money as native teachers in Hungary. And then what you do get, you also get health insurance in Hungary. So you, fill, you fall under the healthcare system of the host country there. So that's also great. And you're also provided accommodation for um, the duration of your stay. Um, yeah. And the CETP provides all documents necessary to receive your work visa after arrival. So they really take care of you. They guide you through the whole process. Um, so that's also really, really great if that's something you're interested in. And I've been to Budapest, it's beautiful. <laughs> I would love to go there actually, this program. All right, let's take a look at more comments here. Ahmed says, which one is the best Tefl or Celta? Okay, um, it's on sort of what your goal is in terms of best Tefl course. Um, we offer TEFL courses between 60 hours of training and 550 hours of training. So there's a lot of different options for you. We also have online courses, in-class courses, combined courses. So it all depends what you want. But if you don't have any TEFL yet, I always recommend starting at the 120 hour um, certification level because 120 hours is pretty much the standard certificate now for teaching English abroad. That's the minimum hours that you need to have. So that's a good one to start with. And you can find that on tefelcourse.net. Um, I can also paste the link. Let me find it real quick. Um, so here are all our online course options. I'm posting the link into the comment box. You can check that out. And here you can find all the options. But if you don't have any certification yet, I highly recommend starting at the 120 hour level. And then you can, you know, top it up with specializations in business English, in teaching English to young learners, in teaching English online, things like that. Once you have that, you can get the TESOL diploma and um, work your way up, basically. <laughs> all right. Okay. Back to Hungary, <laughs> the CETP, Central European Teaching Program. Um, the requirements for this program are you need to be a native English speaker from the US, Canada, UK, or any other EU country. So again, the options are a little bit more open than the previous program in Spain. And it's another great opportunity for people outside of the EU, so US Americans or Canadians, to get their foot into the door in Europe. There's no official upper age limit, which is also great for anyone who wants to do it. Um, you need to have a bachelor's degree and you need to have a minimum of a 40 hour online TEFL course. And what's also great in this program is that you can also bring your partner, a friend, or family member along with you, and you can be placed together, which is great. 
And also, I found this really interesting. Might be good for some other some people. So if you um, don't want to teach English, you have some other skill, you can actually also teach something beside English. So, for example, a lot of teachers under this program also teach history. They teach literature, German, social studies, American and British culture, um, all these kinds of different things. And they are all taught in English except German. Um, and then some teachers also become sports coaches for things like basketball, soccer, or other sports as volunteer activities. So that's also a good opportunity if you're like, oh, you know, I love history or, well, I'm not sure about the, the qualifications that you need to have. Maybe you need to, if you're like already a history teacher back home, then this would make sense, right? That you go to Hungary and then also be a history teacher. So this would be something you need to clarify with them directly. I don't know this information. What other qual um, qualifications you would need if you're like, oh, I want to teach history or I want to teach social studies there. Um, but I just thought it's worth mentioning because maybe someone is interested in that. It's I We get a lot of like retired teachers. I know someone was a retired French teacher um so things like that retired teachers so this would be a great opportunity there's no upper age limit um yeah so think about it i think it's great thanks so much for watching we are ittt the leading provider for tefl and tesol training courses if you like this video please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach english abroad and online